Hello and welcome back. In the short lecture, we're going to learn about the expressions that uh, we wanted to match some kind of, you know, characters or some kind of numbers, uh, some some kind of, you know, uh, thing we found as error, for example, in our day to day job, and we wanted to match that uh, against to maybe a, to a log file uh, with the help of PowerShell to, you know, find out whether this file, uh, within that file, the specific character is found or such kind of, you know, example um, situations or the uh, on job specific uh, situations can be, you know, explained better in this demonstration. To begin with that, uh, if you're trying to express any of the values uh, in the digit format, you can mention uh, a pattern called uh, backslash backslash dd uh, format because it is actually you know here uh, the number uh, which is you know uh, mentioned here as a digit format is 0 to 9 so let me open up here so this is what uh, it actually looks like so it can be uh, it can be a pattern uh, with the two dashes here the three dashes and the two and three this can be think that this can be uh, us social security number we never know so there would be a value which which might be suitable here 0 to 9 between any value that's what i mean to say here so when you have here uh, for this, uh, this slash d that's backslash d then uh, it means that 0 to 9 between any of the value can be come up here so that's one of the uh, case i've written a small uh, program here uh, which you can uh, check out this uh, script uh, this is a very small script which would uh, give you an output if the data is matching. Let's say I've defined my data as uh, this is a number, uh, for example, this has a text of some characters and we wanted to match exactly that the specific data whether if it is matching to this format. So this is nothing but a digit, right? So if you see here, this is uh, nothing but one of the number. So, uh, how would I you know, get this is uh, actually you know I defined here data as a variable that means the data is stored now into this variable and now against to that I'm actually searching with the match as the um, match as the case where it is going to finding with this format if it is uh, available it's gonna return the value for me so I'm just running this so it says that hey data is matching uh, and my SSN number is this so this is the line is matching and also here this is another line is matching what if I you know just take it out in a few of the values and uh, let's run that so it's just returning one because we did mention here as the uh, we don't want to you know have uh, further information that's how we have given here if I just give this um, it should actually come up only the next one so you can see here this is matching and also the SSN also matching that means because these are all the five different digits also part of here so this is also coming as well as this is also coming so both the values are coming up so this is one of the match expression the similar cases can also be used for uh, even the for the W and S in the chat and uh, closing brackets. So these are the uh, things which can be applied uh, within your script. So I hope you know you can just give it a try on different uh, programs or when you know just uh, f uh, find any of the requirement you know you would be better to you know write uh, specific to that uh, requirement and then you would be more comfortable what I'm trying to explain here. Thank you for watching this.